Hello folks, today I'm going to talk about a very important topic, emerging classics. I know everyone likes to make a good investment and hey, if you can play and enjoy while investment grows, the idea is to buy these future classics. This is the Toyota for Runner, the edition 97 to 2002. And this was a great design. It's the boxier look. It's um, I, we just gave it a, a wash, and I noticed that it's very fast, very quick to give it a wash. It's very smooth, no sharp edges. I washed it like in five minutes, and the design is just you just don't get tired of it. Also, notice the rims. It has those nice burly rims. I guess what people like on these Toyotas is the rims. If you have a 2x4 or 4x4, but this is the design to have. This is the one millennials and the kids. In fact, one of my employees wants one. You know, he's 20 years old and this is the Toyota for running he wants. Toyota had many editions, many generations of four runners. The one after this is not so, they weren't so happy, it wasn't so pleasing. But uh, I can only say that, you know, when I was shopping for this vehicle, I was shopping for an SUV for the family. You know, we just had twins and I overpaid on this Forerunner, but that's okay. I want a top notch Forerunner that needed nothing. Uh, this Forerunner had a, a paint job in Arizona. It's not big enough actually for the twins, so I should have actually bought the Sequoia, a little bigger. But uh, I'm not getting rid of this one yet, at least not yet. I think I'm keeping it for a while. It, you can't, it's just a, a bargain. So I'm just making this quick video, overall video, for you to start looking for one. And later we're going to go throughout the vehicle. I also installed an alarm system. You know, it has power door locks. The interior is fabric, which I recommend. Over the leather and plastic and so on. It's a very durable fabric. It's also interesting to point out that the headlights are glass. Most cars from that era to now, they're all plastic and it fades, as you know, and so on. But I really liked the glass on this headlight. This car in Brazil is called, I think, the Hilux. It's a, you know, identical vehicle in Brazil, except in Brazil they're diesel. It's a vehicle also for those who are not afraid of high miles. Don't be afraid of the high miles. Just get it checked, you know, for all leaks or any major problems, but uh, don't hesitate. They go for 300, 400,000 miles. So like they say, folks, Happy wife, happy life. I got myself here a Brazilian wife. And uh, we just had twins. So it's nice. And it keeps you going. They're going on an adventure here. I said adventure because anytime you get out with any of the twins to go to the store is always an adventure. I mean, uh, you may think will happen. It's just nuts, but they are lovely. I waited so long. I should have done long ago. Get this out of the way. Uh, the wife is happy. This car doesn't have excessive electric gadgets. It has power windows. The seats are manual, but uh, they're simple and she can handle it. Your lady would handle this car. It's almost indestructible. So 